Hello from Chicago. Beautiful 92 degrees today. So we love it. So today we are going to talk about how to add drying time to a commercial Speed Queen dryer. So stick around and I'll show you how we do it. So before we go any further, why do you want to add more time to your drying time? Are your clothes not getting uh, dry all the way? Before you do that, you gotta check the duct pipes. Make sure that they are clean. Uh, make sure that they are not kinked, that the hose in the back is okay. Uh, you have to clean the inside of your dryer and uh, maybe the gas valve coils are bad and I have a video in how to troubleshoot for that and how to replace them. The gas valve coils opens and close the valve and if they're faulty it's not going to have enough uh, on time of the flame to be able to dry your clothes. So check, uh, check that video because you're your uh, coils, your gas pipe coils might be uh, at fault. Also, uh, if your clothes are not, if your clothes are coming too wet from the washer, maybe your washer is not wringing it enough, and then you put your clothes in the dryer and 45 minutes, is not, it might not be enough. So check your washer first before you add more time to your, uh, to your drying time. So just so you know what I'm talking about, this is the gas valve and these are the gas valve coils. There are two little things. They are $10. Every time I open up my machine to work on something, I replace them. So again, these are the coils, very easy to replace. I have a video on that, so check it out. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to disconnect the machine. Second, we're gonna access the service door with your key and we're gonna see our control. See this plastic here? This is protecting your control and it's protecting you if you're handling something here it protects you and it protects the control. Huh? Not bad. And that's your control. We're gonna, uh, and this is the dip switch. It's hard to see, but this is like three quarters of an inch. And in there, there's eight dip switches. You have to, uh, you can stop this video and go and get your reading glasses because the numbers are very tiny and you will not see them. <laughs> I'll show you in a minute. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna remove these two screws right here and I'm gonna take it out. Okay, so we need a 516 driver. Okay, and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull, pull it out. There's enough wires inside to pull it out. There's slack in there to pull it out. Okay, so this is your control and these are your dip switches right here. Do you see the numbers? One through eight. And on and off. Now, pay attention to this. Your control was inside like this, right? But these dip switches are upside down. So you have to go and turn your control upside down like this. It's upside down. Now you could see the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. 
if your dryer is from 2015 and older, you're gonna have just a set of these switches just like that. If your dryer machine is from 2015 or newer, your control board is gonna be different. Look at this as I pull it out. So you're gonna have two sets of deep switches. And please note that as we are looking at it right now, look at the position, they are upside down. So we have to turn it so we look at the right numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, remember, it comes like that, but you have to move it all the way around so it's in the right order. Once we have it like that, upright, the one that we care is the one on the left. So this, this one here, not this one, the one on the left. But remember, we just, this is how it goes. So just remember. So this is the chart from one minute to 38 minutes. So take a look at it. Take your notes. And then here is 19 to 38. One more time. 1 to 18. 19 to 38. But I don't think nobody wants this. Most people would be interested in this. So take a look again. Okay guys, so I'm using my cell phone as a magnifier glass because these tiny switches I cannot see. And I painted the tip of the switches, if you see here, because the switches are all white and it's hard to see what's the toggle switch, what's the head of the toggle switch. So right now I have all the switches off, in the off position. The off position is the low, it's low, and from factory, your, your dryer comes with 42 minutes of heat time and three minutes of cool time. So uh, according to the chart I gave you, So according with the chart I gave you, right now I have a molding the off position, and then uh, for 42 minutes of heat time and three minutes of cool down, switch number one has to be on. So I'm gonna move it on. And then switches three and four off, so they are off. And now switch, switch number four has to be on. So watch. There you go, now it's off. Number five is gonna be off, and number six is gonna be on. So see, I, and then number seven and eight are gonna be off. Okay, so you say, Alex, I won, um, I won five more minutes of drying because they are almost dry. So you're gonna go by this, 50 minutes, and then switch number one on, two, three, and four are off, and then on and on, just like this. So this is 50 minutes total. That's because it's 47 minutes of heat time and three minutes of cool down. That equals, equals 50 minutes. And that says that for 50 minutes, Switch number one is gonna be on. Switches number two, three, and four are gonna be off. Number five and six are gonna be on. And number seven and eight for three minutes of cooling down are gonna be off. Okay, Alex, I want more. I want my, my clothes my clothes fully dry. I want them hot. 
So we can do 55 minutes, switch number one off, then on, on, off, on, on. Okay, so 55 minutes, it's gonna be 52 minutes of heat time plus three minutes of cooldown time that equals 55 minutes total. So, the switch number one is gonna be off. Switches two and three are gonna be on. Switch four is gonna be off. Five and six on. And of course, your three minutes of cooldown. There you have it. Um, if you liked this video, if it was useful to you, Please like and subscribe.